Good evening. At this time, I would like to invite Dr. Frank Johnson, Tabor College, Vice President of Academics. Dr. Johnson will provide us with a welcome and lead us in our prayer. Thank you. Good evening. So glad to have you on our campus for this Project Search graduation. It's always a special day that we look forward to. We love having Project Search on campus, Mr. Howdy. Uh, it enriches us, it, it makes us better, and we love having interns who serve across campus, and we, just, we appreciate you all so much. So we look forward to this time together. Would you join me in a quick word of blessing and invocation? Father, we pause to say thank you for a gorgeous day. Thank you for these interns that you've blessed us with for this year. Thank you as well for Nikki and Mr. Howdy and for all that uh, are represented through Project Search here and across the country. Father, be with this exercise tonight. May you uh, be honored and glorified through it, and may we be uh, better for it. And we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. I would like to introduce our next speaker, Robert Howdy. Mr. Howdy is our instructor. He is now going to come and share about Tabor College Project Search. Good evening. Uh, when, I, when I speak about Project Search, I oftentimes find it difficult to put it in words. There's so many layers to it, uh, to the program, and it's so individualized to the interns, but I'll do the best I can tonight. First off, I just want to thank you all for coming to support these interns tonight. Each of you have been invited uh, because you have been involved in making this year meaningful for these interns. So thank you for your investment um, into Project Search through the lives of these interns. Project Search has been has provided these interns with the opportunity to explore the, the skills that they possess. Um, Project Search has also assisted these interns in the development of their skills necessary uh, to work effectively and collaboratively with others. And the ultimate goal of Project Search is to prepare these interns and our future interns in a, to, to work in an integrative work environment within the community that they live in. Project Search provides interns with a combination of learning between classroom and internship, with the majority of learning occurring within internships. Through these internships, these interns learned hard skills and soft skills. Uh, we believe that the soft skill development within internships is an integral part of our program, and we believe that, that soft skills also is an important, an important piece of uh, sustaining a job. The lives of these interns and the other interns that have come before them uh, have been transformed through Project Search, and you'll hear each of these interns give their testimony of Project Search this evening. As I talk about Project Search, I would be remiss to not mention Nikki and um, give her a huge shout out. Um, I'm so thankful for her and all the things that she, she does uh, for the interns um, and myself throughout the, throughout the year. And it's hard to even know where to start. Uh, it's, with the school year, there's so much and so involved. All the effort in helping these interns gain the skills uh, that they need to be successful in their internships. And again, I'm really thankful uh, for all your hard work. And I'll learn. <laughs> also, the many reminders and initiatives that you took uh, to keep the program moving this year, I'm also very thankful for. I'm, I'm very thankful to be your teammate. Looking forward to continuing our success together. We're finishing our sixth year as a program this year at Tabor, serving individuals in Marion County. We feel very fortunate to have a program uh, that's been sustainable over this time. And there's efforts of many people in this room and, and around our county to make that um, a, a dream come true. Uh, we look forward to continuing to serve individuals, um, trans, uh, transitioning from work or from school to work in, in Mary County in the years to come. Thank you. Calvin, Danae, Jenna, and Nathan have each had unique experiences throughout the school year. At this time, each intern will come up and share about these unique experiences while they were an intern at Project Search. Becker. My strengths are a funny, hard worker, and good listener. My instrument
Demonstrations are Japanese anime, World War II, and building stuff out of Legos. My first internship was at Tabor College Cafeteria. I put away on the bowls, utensils for, then I put away the um, restocked the um, gathered the plate and sorted silverware and put away the um, cooking utensils. Then I put the plates on the rack and restocked the um, cups for the pop machines. Then my third internship was at Salem. I restocked the um, plates and squeegeed the um, sink and gathered up the plates. Then put away the um, metal plates and then my other part of my internship was at the athletic training. I washed the um, tables put in the um, carpet reboot and put together a human lace bed. Hello, my name is Danae Reimer. My internships I had were at the Welcome Center, where I learned how to talk with people on the phone and get better customer service. I liked working at the J Shop. Everyone was there was very nice, especially Becky and Donna. I liked all the tasks there as in the cash register, folding clothes and putting books in alphabetical order. I enjoyed the archives, looking through the newspapers and pasting it down on paper and dating it. I love the Hillsborough Museum because of the friends I get to make there with Sue, Kara, and Ella. Not only that, but I also love the work I get to do there. I was able to look through files and put the information on Excel. I enjoyed working at the library, learning all the tasks the librarian does, putting things in the database and scanning barcode, putting the DVD audiobooks and books in alphabetical order. During project search, I learned skills in Excel, customer service, and communication skills. How to be professional in a job, I learned what my strengths and my weaknesses are, how to better cope with my anxiety through project search. I got to know a great person named Jenna at project search. We are best friends and I'm glad I found her because she is a keeper. I enjoyed learning at project search about interception awareness sessions. I also enjoyed learning about the different ways we feel as people. I would like to thank my parents because they encouraged me through Project Search. I would like to thank my sister and brother-in-law who supported me and looked out for me. I would like to thank my Aunt Deanna because she would always ask about my day and how it went. I would like to thank my brothers who were always there for me. I would also like to thank my other family members who supported me along my way. I have a job with the Hillsborough Museum where I was doing tours, putting files in Excel, and doing anything else they have for me. I am thrilled to be a part of their team and I am looking forward to starting in May. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jenna Bruner. I am a Project Church intern. I've been at Project Church and it has been fun and a good experience. I've learned a lot, like how to fill out a resume, how to fill out an application for a job. I did some study, work study, and I got to go outside of, of Tabor College, going at Salem Hall. There, I did housekeeping. I cleaned the residents' rooms, vacuumed the hallway, and swept the entranceway, and being aware of the residents. What I liked about Salem was talking to the residents and the hard work they gave me. I did several internships on campus, but maintenance was one of my favorites. In maintenance, I did clean windows, on doors, um, vacuumed the entrance way, and took out the trash. I got to move around and keep busy. Before Project Church, I worked on some interview, interview skills with my voc rehab person, as I knew I was going to be interviewed for Project Church. Now it is the end of Project Church for me, and I've learned a lot. I learned how to create a resume and more about interview skills, the type of and what task I wanted to do. I've taken all of these uh, skills to consideration and is going to work at Salem uh, as a housekeeper. Thank you all. Hi, my name is Nathan. I'm a 
ProSearch intern. As an intern at ProSearch, I had many opportunities to succeed. I enjoyed ProSearch and working with all the different managers in each department. I would like to thank Caitlin for her time as, an, as a manager for athletic training and gave me the opportunity to work in the athletic training room. I enjoyed working there and helping out with football games. I would also like to thank Krista for her time as a manager in the Welcome Center. Thank you to Professor William for the opportunity to observe in, a, in criminal justice as an intern. I enjoyed the learning and the presentation. Thank you for the opportunity to teach a class about arson investigations. I would like to thank Mike Morales for hosting me as an intern for This and That Farm. I enjoyed the work and the time we have. I enjoyed all the work and will continue to learn the work over time. I will continue to work for Mike after Product Search. Thank you all for the support through Product Search. I wasn't sure at first I wanted to be a part, but I chose and took the opportunity as a risk. I kind of knew what Product Search was about, but I knew it was a good opportunity for me. Thank you. say with confidence that our program at Tabor has a strong nucleus of departments that have been committed to hosting an intern over the past six years. As a program, we are blessed to have such a strong commitment from the host business. When I share with other instructors around the state and hear about their exper experiences um, in their host businesses with their managers and the leadership at their host business, I'm reminded that, at, that we have such a high level of commitment from Tabor and from department managers. About this time, I would like to take the opportunity to recognize a department that has gone above and beyond their calling as a department and has consistently hosted interns and hired interns over the past six years. And this department is the cafeteria. The cafeteria has hosted a total of about 10 interns, at least, I think. Um, and the cafeteria has hired six, at least six of those interns over the course of the, of the of six years we've had project search. Project Search's partnership uh, through these internships in the cafeteria has taught us a few things. It has taught us how important it is for employees to know their role and execute that role well. Um, I strive to give our interns the most realistic job opportunities during our training room instruction and having the cafeteria as an example of providing employees with support while holding them accountable has been a tremendous asset to our program. Rob Scott and Dino Diaz are the managers of the cafeteria, um, and they've committed to giving interns the opportunity to participate in internships. I would like Rob and Dino if they would come up at this time. If you've been on campus for any period of time, you found your way into the cafeteria, and if, if you find your way in there, obviously the food is just amazing, but you would also be greeted most likely by one of these two gentlemen who um, go out of their way just to make the dining experience great. I mean, along with the food, obviously that's what we're going in there for, but it's just so much more by their generosity, their kindness, their smiles, their availability um, to receive feedback, and they've just been great to work with. Um, and I know that Rob has been the manager in the cafeteria these four years now. Um, he manages, they manage a total of 35 employees um, and 15 student workers. So it's a large employee base. Uh, Rob stated that his career in food service has started, started at the age of 15 as a dishwasher um, and worked a total of 23 years in food service. So it's probably safe to say you've seen just about everything go on in the kitchen. Yeah. Pretty close, yeah. Um, Rob, you know, thank you so much and your staff. We're so thankful for your staff as well. You guys are all just a wonderful team and uh, we're just so blessed to have you as a partner. So thank you for giving our interns the wealth of, of knowledge and experience that you have that you're willing to impart on them through their internships.
members of the current interns please stand up. Thanks. 
they began to see what they enjoyed, which shaped what they chose next. By the end of the year, we had all of these graduates off campus in either a paid position or an internship. Several of these unpaid internships turned into job offers. All four of these graduates walk off the stage and into paid employment. And I think they deserve a great job. disagreeable word when he was asked to do something. His answer was always okay and he always did his best. He was always ready to work even if it was new or something you could tell he didn't like doing. Calvin is the kind of worker that every employer wants. When he knew what his task was, it was all business and he worked hard. He also liked to kid around just as much. He was always telling jokes, talking about Japanese urban legends, or his anime comics that he is drawing. Calvin's comic books will be on display after the ceremony. Calvin will be working at Peabody Health and Rehab as a dishwasher after graduation. Calvin, the word we want you to hold on to as you walk out these doors is determination. Keep working hard. Keep learning new skills and keep being a rock star. <laughs> Jenna came to Project Search with a clear idea of what she wanted to do and she didn't waver from that. Because she came to Project Search to learn new skills, Jenna completed several internships outside of her desired field. When Jenna sets her mind to something, she will make it happen. She is great at formulating her own goals and plans on how to accomplish them. Jenna is also an artist and enjoys working with many art forms, but she always has a sketchbook with her. It was a joy to watch her drawing skills improve over the year as well. Jenna will have some different artworks on display after the ceremony. Jenna will be working in housekeeping at Salem Home after graduation. Jenna, the word that we want to leave you with today is decisive. Continue to know what you want, figure out how to get it, and make it happen. Nathan started the year by taking a pause from a full-time job that he had already secured at this and that farms. His boss graciously lent him to us for the school year because Nathan knew that Project Search would provide him with some great skills. Nathan was always willing to participate in discussions, was a leader in the training room, and set an example of hard work in all of his internships. While attending Project Search during the day and working part-time afterwards, he has also been training with the Hills Road Fire Department and was voted on in January. Nathan continues to participate in extensive training for his work with the fire department. He is also working on getting certified in specific types of wells, and I'm hoping he has some work to display afterwards. No, okay. Well, he's getting some certified welding certificates. Um, after project search, Nathan has a huge heart and is always there to lend a helping hand whenever someone needs something, even if that means he goes without. After graduation, Nathan will continue his full-time employment at the Senate Farms and as a volunteer firefighter with the Hillsborough Fire Department. Nathan, the word we want you to hold on to today is compassion. Love big. Lead big and live big. <laughs> Danae has grown so much during Project Search as she let her personality shine. 
She gained self-confidence daily as she learned new skills, developed strong friendships, and tackled things she didn't like doing, like public speaking. Danae also grew in her abilities to regulate her response to stressful situations, which allowed her to bring a higher level of maturity to her internships. She chose internships to help narrow down tasks and jobs that she was interested in after graduation. As she started her third round of internships, she gracefully balanced three internships, two of which were off campus at two different locations, as well as taking an Excel certification class, which she passed with flying colors. Danae will be working using her new Excel certification for the Hillsborough Museums to catalog artifacts. She will also learn how to give tours. Danae also has her own business where she makes and sells cards. Her cards will be on display after the ceremony. And Danae also has a display at the Hillsborough Convention and Visitors Bureau located in Memorial Park in Hillsborough. Danae, the word we want you to hold on to as you walk out these doors today is confidence. Believe in you because we sure do. Believe in what you can do. what the future has in store for each of our graduates. Will the Project Search interns please stand? These individuals have fulfilled the requirements of the project search program. These requirements are outlined in the contract each of the interns agreed to prior to the beginning of their internships. It is my pleasure to confirm that Nathan Lopez, Jenna Bruder, Danae Reiner, and Calvin Becker have successfully completed Tabor College Project Search. Nathan Lopez. Nathan lives in Durham. Nathan is employed at this and that farms located in Hillsborough. Nathan helps with the maintenance of trucks, tractors, and other farm equipment. He also does some welding for this and that farms. Jenna Bruner. Jenna plans to work as a housekeeper at Salem Home in Hillsborough. Danae Reimer. Danae lives in Gossel. Danae plans to work for the city of Hillsborough, assisting with the running of the museum. Calvin is going to be working at Peabody Health and Rehab as a dishwasher after graduation. Congratulations to each of you. It is with great pleasure to award the Dr. David Shepherd Perseverance Award. I was, going, I was doing well until you came up and you came down. 
So this one gets me. So this is the second year we we have the honor of presenting uh, the Perseverance Award. Dr. Shepard was the director of the Marion County Special Ed Co-op, and Project Search is just one of many of his accomplishments over the years as, as director. Upon retiring from um, uh, from from his uh, director job, he would, he would take on a new challenge in life as he entered retirement. Dr. Shepard fought hard, <clears throat> but was unable to overcome a cancer that took his life in April of 2021. This award was established to honor him and his determination, commitment, and dedication to ensure that Mary County had a transition program for young people disabilities transitioning from high school to work. It was in the fall of 2016, uh, meetings began uh, to form to officially take place uh, that would eventually lead to the formation of Project Search at Tabor College. What pe many people may not know about this program of Project Search, it was the culmination of many years of hard work led by Dr. Shepard. This dream of his to have a transition program like Project Search will forever be a legacy he left behind in Marion County. Very few people have seen the level of commitment it took to make this dream come true. Uh, Dr. Shepard's family, I think, can attest to his commitment to this project. And I, I would like to welcome his family, his wife Marla, and his other family members, his daughter, um, and other family members joining us this evening. Uh, with Marla, would you and your family stand up, please, so we can recognize you? demonstrated perseverance throughout this program. Uh, the intern that possessed perseverance and determination uh, that we feel like that ended through, through the whole internship was Danae Reimer. Danae, would you join me please? determination that you show to successfully complete those and overcome those ob obstacles throughout the entire time of project search was evident. This determination and commitment was on display not only during your internship but also during your classroom work. We saw that as you successfully completed your Excel class as well. Then I was able to complete the class of Excel on your first try which you thought maybe wouldn't be possible, right? We had a lot of conversations <laughs> and you did it. Danae, it's been a joy watching you achieve your goals. And it's been a pleasure, and it's a pleasure to award you uh, the Dr. David Shepard Perseverance Award. And I also want to say, Danae, this is just the beginning of a, of a journey that you're on with God um, and, the, and the great things that he has for you in the future. And I know I speak for Nikki and I when I say that look forward to hearing about all the opportunities you have um, to overcome obstacles in the future. Congratulations.
Each of you have put effort during the training room instruction and your internship to become the best that you can be today. But this isn't over. You're just getting started. We talked many times about work and how we fill our lives up with work most of our time. And our lives is work. So finding that job that you guys have found that you truly enjoy, um, some people don't find until they're 40 or 50. So I ask that you go into your job with the same curiosity that you came into Project Search with and with the same level of excitement that you leave Project Search with today. And I assure you that more positive experiences will come your way. We're just so very proud of each of you and we look forward to seeing the many things that you accomplish in the future. Congratulations, interns.